Welcome to my very first golf vlog. I've always wanted to try out content like this and what a course to try it out on. A few days ago, I traveled to Kamloops, British Columbia, about a three hour drive from where I live to play Tobiano, one of the most unique and beautiful golf courses I've ever played. Built in 2008 by designer Thomas McBroom, Tobiano very quickly became noticed as one of the top golf courses in all of Canada. Last year, Golf Digest rated it as number eight course in Canada and ranked number 90 in the entire world. Laid out over sprawling canyons and gorgeous desert landscape, Tobiano demands you bring your A-game with big elevation changes and exciting carries, making for some really fun shot making. I was lucky enough to this day to be one of the very first groups out, and I got to play alone, which really felt like I had the course to myself. After some warm-up, I was off to the races. First hole of Tobiano is a 551-yard par 5. Big bunker on the right. We are trying to avoid the fairway for the most part slopes from right to left. Very, very well protected green. As you can see, tons of bunkers there and it is an uphill approach. So there's my drive. Uh, not a great drive. I am off to the right here. Really not a good shot. Didn't go very far either. So that's going to leave me a three wood. I'm really trying to go for it here. And uh, yeah, I duff that. That goes maybe 100 yards. So we're not off to a great start. All right, third shot, we're about 172 out here, my seven iron, decent. I'm in the sand though, just at the front of the green. And there is my sand shot out, not too bad. We'll take that. And then I've got about a 30, 35 footer for par. I give it a pretty good run, but I just miss it and tap in for bogey. I really like the second hole here at Tobiano. Only 327 yards. Big, big bunker on the right there, but lots of room on the left. And then it's really just a short flip shot into the green. You just got to make sure you're not long and you're not left or you're in big trouble. So here I hit my worst drive of the day. That is a depressing shot tracer right into the fescue. So unfortunately I lose the ball. I'm hitting three from 162. This is a really nice shot. Nice little draw. Puts me right at the front of the green. Gives me about 15, 20 feet. I completely misread this putt. Not a good putt at all. I do make the comebacker though. Two putt, another bogey. Third hole, short little par three, 135 yards. It is all carry though. If you are short, you're in double bogey territory. So I've got my pitching wedge here and I absolutely nuke this thing because I didn't want to be short. I'm also not lined up well at all and I'm off to the right. So this gives me a very tricky little chip shot and I hit the slope and it rolls off the green. Now I know you can't see this but off the green I do chip it in. No I did not throw it in. I chipped it in and we make par. The fourth is a long par four with a big carry over the brush there. It's a bunkerless hole, big wide fairway. Only real uh, issue is just all the mounding off to the left. So with this one, I finally hit a decent drive right down the middle. I don't quite get all of it, but uh, it's in play. We'll take it. Gives me 190 yards in. That's a five iron. I do push this one right. I'm actually a little worried because I thought I was maybe in the fescue, but I do get lucky. Although this is a brutal angle here for this chip. I hit the slope again and it does roll out quite a distance. So a bit of a lengthy par putt here. I do give it a run, but doesn't break as much as I thought it would and tap in for the bogey. Fifth hole's a unique one, a long downhill par four. Giant mounds on either side to give it a really, really cool feel. You just gotta make sure you don't miss left or long here. So I hit my drive pretty well, just to the left side of the fairway. I don't quite catch the slope to get extra distance, but I'm happy with it. From there, it is down the hill, 168 yards. I have an eight iron in my hand here. I push this out to the right, unfortunately, but uh, it's not too bad, just hung up in the rough there. From here, it's a little lob wedge. I hit this one really well to about five feet. I don't have the putt here, but I do make it for my par. 
Six to the par four where your drive has to carry the canyon, trying to keep it out to the right. And here you get these gorgeous, gorgeous views of Kamloops Lake here on the second shot. Obviously, you do not want to be hitting it long and uh, big trouble on the right with that bunker there. So another decent drive here. Uh, I hit a pretty low. Unfortunately, I do catch that bunker on the left. From here, it's a blind uphill shot out of the sand and I hit this really well. It draws a little more than I would like. It just hits right on the edge of the green, which is gonna give me a monster putt. But I mean, look at how beautiful this green site is. You can see my ball right at the far left of your screen here. This is what, maybe 60, 65 feet. And uh, I'm pretty happy with my pace here. Not bad. Gets me to about three or four feet and uh, I am very happy to make a two putt here. So nice par out of the fairway bunker. Hole seven, lovely little par three, pretty straightforward. Just don't go short, right or long and you're just fine. Uh, so club selection vital here. I hit a nine iron, I hit it perfect. A Little bit left though, but I am roughly pin high, about 20 feet away. A great looking shot here. Another awesome green sight. You can see the train in the background just coming along right at the perfect time. So I got 25 feet here, give or take, and the greens are rolling so true here. And my speed was on pretty much all day as I nestle that one up real close and tap in for another par. So the par 5.8, this is the hole I almost died on going to the tee. My cart basically 360'd going down a hill because of the wetness. And uh, yeah, that was scary. But uh, I think that may have rattled me a little bit because this was not a good hole. So my drive is decent, but I do pop it up. It's a big carry here. I do get it over by about 40 yards, but it's not a great shot. Second shot, we have a ways in and uh, no tracer for this. I put this into the fescue. It was not a good one, so I had to drop. Fourth shot in here, it's an eight iron from 164. This is a nice ball just to the left of the green. So it turned out to be a good shot, but a very short-sided chip here, which I do not hit well as uh, it takes off quite a bit. This to save bogey, I give it a pretty good run, but I just miss and tap in for the double. The ninth begins a stretch of holes up the hill. This ninth hole, 393 yards. It's uphill all the way. Try to play it to the left side. Uh, well protected, as you can see. I do not go up the left side. I go up the right side, almost major trouble. Thankfully, that first bunker catches it. Uh, as you can see, it is not a good lie here as I awkwardly climb down. All I can do is chip it onto the fairway here. From there, it is 84 yards. No tracer on this one because I think my camera was too close, but uh, this one goes right to the front edge of the green. I chip on nice and close and tap in with my way. Eh, close enough. That's a five. Status report, through nine plus six. Not bad considering I'm really not hitting the ball well at all. Not making good contact, but we're getting uh, some decent bounces and our short game's not bad, so. Rain's picking up again, but it's still absolutely gorgeous here. So, Let's see what we can do on the back. The climb up the hill continues on the par 5 10th, 525 yards, playing significantly longer. Big, wide fairway, but uh, as you get closer to the green, things get tighter and the green itself is very small. So we kick this hole off with one of my best drives of the day. We had a big, big fairway, so we made sure not to miss that. Still a long ways to go though, 276. I'm just laying up. So I hit a four iron, I push it to the right. Not great, but we're still in decent shape here. Gap wedge from just over 100 yards. Again, I hit it a little thin, I don't like it. It gets a funny bounce right to the front of the green. I thought it was going in the sand, so. We get a chip, this chip, I kind of get under a little bit too much, not our best. So this is our par putt here, about 15 feet. Just miss it on the left edge. Tap in for the bogey. 
11 is another mid-length par 4, pretty wide fairway. All the trouble is to the right with those nasty bunkers. Also, a couple really deep bunkers on the right side we're trying to avoid. Just trying to play left as much as we can. Unfortunately, the pushing continues as I do push this drive to the right and end up near one of these bunkers. I take my medicine. There's no way I can get there. So I just hack it out. Set myself up for the shot of the day coming up here from 80 yards. No shot tracer needed. Just look at the pin. We almost hit it. We're to about three feet. We love it. And that's just a tap in, ladies and gentlemen. Four par. Twelve's a pretty straightforward par, 349 yards. Well protected. Let's just try to hit a green here. No, of course we don't. This time we pull it left. Over the bunker, into the bailout area, onto the left there. Here we have an absolutely beautiful chip. I thought I had it right here. Uh, not quite. As you can see, we're just about a foot. Oh, we just tap it in for par. Thirteen is a bit of a wild one. Only a 477 par yard par five, but it is all uphill. And this green is very, very well protected. Just the sweeping dog leg all the way around. It is definitely a three shot par five. Took me a while to get the line, but once I did, I absolutely crushed it. That was my probably my best drive of the day. Right in the middle of the fairway. That led me 226, decided, yeah, we're just laying up. So we just hit a six iron. We push it a little bit right, but it's not terrible. Putting us in a prime spot, 78 yards, but we, yeah, we duff it. We're way short of the green, unfortunately. So we've got a chip on, which was mediocre at best, which gives us about a 15 footer for par. And we come very, very close here. Not quite. Tap in bogey. Beautiful view. 14 is the highest point at Tobiano and probably the best view in a course full of spectacular views. Tons of trouble off to the left. Uh, just a stunning hole. The tee shot here is terrifying. I hit this left. It's a bit of a blind shot, so I couldn't tell if I hit it too far left. Thankfully, I didn't. I was just on the left edge of the fairway, and here, a beautiful looking shot, 130 yard gap wedge. I do hit it short, but uh, it's not too bad. And here, our short game bails us out. It's not a great angle here, but I do chip it to about a foot, foot and a half, and it's just a tap in par from there. 15 par three right on the edge of Kamloops Lake here. Well protected green and this shot I play out to the right a little bit but I do catch the slope and it kind of rolls down to about 30 feet. Here I just take in the views here. It's absolutely stunning. Worst part of the day here, I misread it and blow it about eight feet by. I'm staring my first three putt of the round in the face, but look at this. I nail the par putt. It's the final par five of the day. 540 yards way down the hill. Lots of room on the right for the drive. And you do have the green light to go for it in two. Again, very well protected. Big sharp drop off on the right. So this drive for once today actually goes where I want it to, right down the right side of the fairway. We're 240 way down the hill. I should have laid up, but you know what? I went for it anyway. We hit a four iron right down by the sand trap here. Little chip on, should have been simple enough, but I skull it and put it about 30, 35 feet past. We do have a birdie putt here. And uh, we didn't read it properly, but the weight's good which allows for another kick in par. All right, 17 here, another short par three. That is all carry. 
And from here, we hit a pitching wedge, and we don't quite line it up properly. We just missed the green here. Would have loved a green in regulation there, but oh well. Pretty simple chip. I gave myself about four feet, but uh, the putter is hot today, and we make another par. We reach the par for 18th after just a lovely day at Tobiano. Trouble all down the left side. We're just trying to play it to the right, and uh, hopefully we can finish with a par. I mean, I know what my score is, and I'm thinking, I haven't hit a bad drive. All oh, never mind. That one, I didn't even bother to wait for it to come down. So I dropped. I don't know why I dropped on the other side of the fairway. I was just kind of done at this point. That one rolls up. Uh, I do have a missing shot here. I do kind of chip on. So this is actually my bogey putt. And again, I gave it a pretty decent run, but uh, I do tap in for double. And that's a 10 over 82, by far my best round of the year. I was really happy to finish with an 82. Uh, it's so much more fun playing golf where you're not spraying the ball off the tee, which I've been doing a lot of this year. So it was actually pretty miraculous how few balls I lost, especially on a course like this. I hope you enjoyed my golf vlog today on this being probably it's definitely in my top five favorite courses of all time. And it was really nice to actually shoot a really good round here. So thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, I hope to make some more of this content in the future. So if you guys have any questions, comments, please let me know down below. Thanks for watching. See you later.